Welcome back CW fans to a new video. Today we have the AJ Styles Ultimate Edition. Before we get into the video, I said this in the last video that I posted, but if y'all did not watch that, um, I am in a new room in my house, so I have a new setup. If that's why you can tell there's a different color on the wall, I'm in a new section of my house for more room for my videos. So that's pretty exciting, just wanted to let y'all know. But um, also we have um, Shawn Michaels over there giving the sweet chin music to himself actually but um really nice figures that was my last video like i was just talking about so make sure i'll go watch that video go like subscribe and give support to that video but back to this video we have the ultimate edition aj styles i've had this for a while i got it for my birthday like in august but um i just haven't had time or i just haven't done a review on this figure and i've wanted to for a while because um, I've heard it is a really good figure. And it looks really good too. I really do like the attire. The blue and the white go really well together. The black um looks very good too. Um, Nice head scans. It looks like to me. Cloth shirt right there. And then his entrance, entrance jacket right there. Um, comes with two extra sets of interchangeable hands. Really nice. The same blue that's on his tights. Really nice. It says AJ Styles up here, Ultimate Edition down here. Got AJ Styles on the side right there. It says his name right there, WWE logo. Then we got, that's the entrance jacket that I was just talking about that you can see that comes with the figure. Um, it, This is a really cool picture. This is him doing the phenomenal forearm. That's what that hair is for, if y'all did not know. That um you can take an action shot with for him doing the phenomenal forearm. I think that's really cool, but here's some information about AJ right there. It says his name again. Um, Glamour shot right there of him. Really nice, cool picture. Here's a little read up about him right there. Y'all can pause the video if y'all want to read that. But enough with the box. I'm really excited to open and review this um, figure, so let's get into it. Here is the figure out of the box, but before we get to talking about the figure, um, I would like to apologize if the lighting is different or if it's not as good as it usually is. Um, as I said earlier in the video, I moved into a new room in my house and I need and I had to order another ring light because the lighting is not as good in here. But that is not getting here until uh, another few days. So until then, I am stuck with this lighting. Hopefully, it will do until then, but. It sh it's not that bad, but I would just like a, another ring light on the other side of my table just to give y'all a little bit more light to see the figures and the boxes and all that. But getting into the figure, we'll take a look at the first head scan. Looks really nice. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, the figure, it looks like they shrunk AJ Styles down. Like this is this is what you want to see when you have an action figure. Like this is absolutely amazing. Got the soccer mom haircut right there really nice really nice um good articulating butterfly joints really nice um very smooth very smooth take a look at the tattoos on the side it says aj and then there's four dates i think it's the dates for his children if i'm not mistaken but i could be wrong let me know down in the comments if i am completely wrong but here we got the elbow pad for when he does the phenomenal for phenomenal forearm um, and then on the elbow pad, we got the P1 for phenomenal one right there. I really do like that um, symbol or that logo. It, it is maybe my favorite logo in WWE, but it's it's super nice. Um, we got like a armband right there. And then we got a wrist band on both sides of the figure. And it says styles on both of them. Really nice. Getting into the hands. The gloves are absolutely amazing. They are a really nice sculpt. I really do like the blue, black, and white. It looks absolutely amazing. It has the P1 logo on it again. Really nice. Um, absolutely amazing. It has a little texture to it. I can't explain it, but it's really nice. I do like it a lot. The torso, it does not have the 360 um, swivel right there, but it does right here. And then... The torso crunch right there is also really nice. Taking a look at the trunks, we got the blue and black belt. Really nice. That is just painted on right there. Um, we got the P1 logo right there. 
got some uh, Japanese, Chinese, I, I don't know, just some language right there, and then a bigger P1 symbol right there, really nice, got um just a stripe of the blue and black on both sides of the trunks right there, really nice. The figure does have drop down hips for extra articulation. Look at that front kick right there, really nice. Get Also get the leg up really high right there. And then all you gotta do is just pop it back up into the socket. Um, I do have mixed feelings about drop down hips. Sometimes they can get a little loose and so that's the thing I don't like about it because I'll just be doing something with the figure and it'll just pop down really easily. I mean, it's not bad because I just pop it back up, but it gets pretty annoying sometimes. But um, getting down to the knee pads, just got the um, normal or whole blue one right here. And then we got the white, black, and blue one right here. Really nice. We got the one on this kick pad and then phenomenal for phenomenal one AJ Styles right there. I really do like these boots and kick pads. Oh, and I just dropped the figure. Really nice. Um, but these kick pads and boots look absolutely amazing on the figure. We got the um, good foot articulation um, leg swivel right there. And then we got the articulating toe that all Ultimate Editions get. This one does seem like a little different because you can see just that right there in the middle. I feel like it's not like that on other Ultimate Editions or the ones that I've gotten. This may be one of the earlier Ultimate Editions that I have, so I they may have changed it since then. And I only have figures after this one, so I wouldn't know. But um, really nice. I do really like this attire. I just, blue or and this type of blue is my favorite color, so that could be why I like this attire so well. But the just the combination of the white, blue, and black just fit so well together. And then just the whole figure, it feels super good in hand. Like, it looks just like AJ. It, it's just an absolutely beautiful figure. But um, that's it for our first look at the figure. Now let's get to the accessories. Here are the accessories that come with the AJ Styles figure. Comes with three interchangeable heads, three interchangeable hands, a entrance jacket, and then a um, shirt. That um, But that, that will be the first thing we will look at. It has Phenomenal Forever, the P1 logo for Phenomenal 1 right there. Comes with the Velcro in the back to make it easy to come off. Um, Y'all know I will never complain about cloth goods, so any cloth goods that I get, I, I will love, um, no matter what it is. But this it, this is a really nice shirt. Feels feels really good. Um, I really do like the design on this on this shirt. I will put it on um, the figure for my final review. But it looks really nice. Got comes with a sleeveless shirt, so that's really nice. The one he's wearing right there in the picture, really nice. And then also the jacket that he's wearing right there. This is his entrance jacket where he does the thing where he throws the hood off at the beat drop of his um entrance so i think it's really cool but something that we have not seen is we have a rubber jacket usually i do not like rubber um accessories but i i think i'll let this one slide but the um i think it uh, messes with the articulation of the butterfly joints but we'll take a look at that in just a second but it comes with a cloth hood which i think is really interesting um for them to add to this figure i think it's really nice I think I would have liked maybe just a cloth jacket in the hole together, but um, I think that would have maybe looked better, but um, we got a bunch of, I don't, I, I don't want to say, I would say buttons. We got a bunch of buttons on the jacket right here, comes with the phenomenal, or the P1 logo right there in some, some language right there, I don't know, and then it has the same thing right there, really nice. Um, I'm, I will also put this on the figure for my final review, just like he has it on right there with the shirt and jacket on, but, um, y'all have already seen a look at this head scan. This is more of a, like, just serious, nothing really going on face. This one is like a, a smirking face. I do like this, um, head scan a lot. Looks just like him, just like all the other ones. Um, they have the beard darker than his normal hair, which I think is pretty accurate to how he looks in real life. And then I have mixed feelings about this one. I think it looks good, like, in the P1 
picture like right there i think that looks good but i think just normally it i don't i don't really like it it just it just looks so big like on his head i don't know i just i have mixed feelings about it but maybe you could just if you could just take that off i would like to have this is more of a serious face than this this head scan right here so i maybe if you could just like take the hair off and then put the soccer mom haircut on to this figure i think that would look very nice um head scan the face looks absolutely amazing but i just don't know about the hair um i know it's for the phenomenal forearm i know that's the hair for that move but i don't know it just it just looks a little off to me just i don't know y'all just look at that tell me what y'all think about head scans in the comments tell me if y'all like them or not I, I like the these two right there, but this one I'm a little on the fence about. Then we got the hands. We got the closed fist hands with the same P1 logo on there. Let that focus. There we go. That one says AJ on it, actually. And then this one is also says AJ. Okay, so they all say AJ. I did not know that. But so that's really nice. These are the Fist of Fury hands, closed fist. And then we got the... um opened mic hands right there says aj on it again but one thing i do not like um about these or what a gripe that i have is that these have the logo on the inside of the hands but these do not i think that's maybe just cutting or and i just dropped the figure again i think that maybe just trying to have a shortcut not trying to i don't know but i wish they would have put the logo in there i know you can't really do the um p1 thing like like aj does with those hands but still would have been nice to have that detail inside of the um mic hands but i do like these opened hands right here if maybe y'all can see the yeah y'all can see the texturing on the gloves like that that's what i was talking about earlier but um it says aj on the back again and then you do the you can do the p1 logo thing like aj does on or in real life i think that's really cool how they added that um overall really good accessories just only gripe is the they don't have the logo on the inside of these hands and then this head scan I, or just this hair not the head scan the head scan is actually really nice but just the hair but that's it for the accessories now let's get to the final review of this figure Here's the figure for my final review. As y'all can tell, I got the jacket and a shirt on the figure. I think it looks absolutely amazing on the figure. And sometimes with um, accessories that have a hood, they'll stick up. But this one actually will stay down if you just push it down, which is um, really nice. Um, it, it looks absolutely amazing. Just the figure in general, just all of it. The accessories, the head scans, just the attire. It, everything just i just like everything about this figure i mean there was a few gripes that i had about the hair on one of them and then um the design not being on this the inside of these hands but and that's the, i think that's the third time i've knocked the figure over that's i think that may be my personal best in a video um hopefully it does not get knocked over another time but just as i said not the design being on the mic holding hands but, I mean, those are very small gripes about the figure, but everything else just outweighs the gripes. So, this is an absolutely amazing figure. Head scans are uh, phenomenal, just just like the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. But if y'all if y'all ever see this in your Walmart, or it should still be up on Ringside Collectibles, I th maybe. I haven't checked recently, but if y'all have a chance of buying this figure, I think y'all definitely should um get this figure almost dropped it again but um that's gonna be it for the video like i said this is an absolutely phenomenal figure pun intended right there but um that that's gonna be it like i said earlier go watch my last video but um go like subscribe comment on this video and i'll i'll not sure what i'm going to do for my next video it's probably just gonna be another unboxing and review don't know what i'm gonna do next but Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said just a few seconds ago, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.